Hello everyone. Today, tutorial is creating thread Revit family using lookup table. You can see in picture. There are major diameter, minor diameter, pitch, thread angle, and pitch diameter. When we create parameter, major diameter is considered as nominal diameter. And no need to include for pitch diameter. OK, let's start to create. Go to Revit. Open a new family and select generic model. Before create, let's start to add parameter first. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for nominal diameter. Select instance and click OK. Add another a parameter for minor diameter. Select instance and click OK. Add a parameter for radius. Select instance and click OK. Add a parameter for pitch. Select instance and click OK. Arrange and up nominal diameter to top row. Up the radius to second row. Add a parameter for lookup table. Select text for type of parameter and select other for group parameter. Select instance and click OK. Go to manage lookup table and import the lookup table. You can watch how to create lookup table in the comment box below. Add the value of lookup table. Add value 16 for nominal diameter as default. Add formula for radius is nominal diameter divided by 2. Add formula for minor diameter. Size underscore lookup, bracket, lookup table name, double quotation, MDM, double quotation, nominal diameter asterisk 0.8, nominal diameter, bracket. Add formula for pitch. Copy and paste minor diameters formula. Change lookup column value. The value of default if not found is 10% of nominal diameter. Click apply and OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference line. Offset 8 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for nominal diameter. And click apply. Offset 6.8 mm and create another reference line. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for minor diameter. Click apply. Select the existing reference line. Offset 2 mm and create a similar horizontal reference line. Change the scale if too large. Insert dimension. Offset 2 mm and create one more reference line. Insert dimension. Select dimension and add parameter for the pitch. Go to create and choose the swept blend. Set and pick up the reference plane. Sketch a path to nominal diameter parameter and lock it. Insert dimension. Too large, change the scale. And add parameter for radius. Select the profile 1 and edit the profile. Go to front view. Select the polygon and draw the triangle.
draw a vertical line. Select the triangle and move to the reference line. Select the line and mirror to opposite. Align to reference and lock it. Trim to vertical line. Align the vertical line to reference and lock it. Insert the angle dimension and lock it. Finish the profile 1. Select the profile 2 and edit the profile. Select the polygon and draw a triangle. Move the triangle to the reference line. Align to the reference line and lock it. Select the triangle line and mirror to upside side. Sketch a vertical line and lock it. Trim to vertical line. Insert a angle dimension and lock it. Complete the profile too. Edit the profile too and move the triangle to the upper pitch reference line. Remove the constraint. Align to reference line and lock it. Finish the profile too. Go to 3D view. Check and play the nominal diameter. OK, the parameter are working. Go to front view and let's start create thread for another side. Select the swept blend. Set and pick up work plane. Open the reference level. Sketch the path. Draw a half circle to the opposite side and lock it. Select the profile 1 and edit the profile. Go to front view. Select polygon and draw a triangle. Move the triangle to reference line. Select the triangle line and mirror to opposite side. Align to the reference line and lock it. Draw a vertical line and lock to the reference line. Trim to the vertical line. Align to reference line and lock it. Insert angle dimension and lock it. Finish the profile 1. Edit the profile 2. Select polygon and draw a triangle. Select the triangle and move to reference line. Select the triangle and mirror to opposite side. Align to reference line and lock it. Draw a vertical line and lock it. Trim to the vertical line and lock it. Insert angle dimension and lock it. Complete the profile too. Go to 3D view. Check and play the nominal diameter. The parameter are working. Thank you for watching.